If we haven't met before, I'm Montonique. I'm a multi-passionate certified K-12 music teacher, and my passion is helping piano teachers just like you transition to teaching group piano lessons online. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you won't miss a lesson and leave a comment below. In this Canva tutorial for piano teachers, we'll be looking at how to create music flashcards fast in Canva in this order. How to design music flashcards fast with a simple yet fun design. How to design a double-sided flashcard for your piano students. And finally, how to add fun designs to extend your student engagement with your music flashcards. So if you're ready, let's get started. So before we even begin the project, I always like to show you what is possible that we will be creating together. So here are a few examples. Uh, feel free to import whatever music that you want to add, or you can just simply take what I show you as inspiration. So here are some of the really cute designs that we're going to be creating together. These are music flashcards that we are going to create in Canva specifically for piano teachers. So let's start back at the very beginning. So I'm going to zoom in here and I want to give you a little background so you understand why I've selected the music that I have. So I've taught this piece when the saints go marching in many times in many different classes with different age groups. Now, this particular rendition is from the book Songs of Liberty, and I can leave a link in the description box below if you're interested in actually purchasing this piece. But here is the area that most of my students struggle with. So if you look at measures 12, this is the hot spot. This they always want to play instead of the G as a quarter note. They always want to play the G as a half note and then the uh, F as a half note, not a dotted half note. So what we're going to do is we're going to isolate two measures before. So measures 10 and 11 and then obviously include 12 and then we have to include 13 because the tie. So from these four measures, measures 12 through 13, this is going to be what we're going to be pulling out of a piece. And remember, you can do this with any piece to create a music flashcard fast to help your students learn the rhythm. So what I've done is I'm just going to scroll down here. Um, I have actually imported this piece from Note Flight into Canva. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, I've already made a video and I'll leave the link to the description um, for this video here and it just simply uh, shows you how to import a music image into Canva. So now that we've done that, here's the next thing that I've done. So I've taken this uh, piece here and it's now a JPEG so I can um, cut, I can crop, I can flip, I can do all sorts of things now that it is in the JPEG form. So what I've done, I've just isolated those measures and I've obviously copy and pasted because in the score there is a break between measure 11 and 12. So remember you can do this with any piece um, that your students are struggling with. So what I'm going to do first <laughs> is I'm going to actually separate measures 10 and 11 and then 12 and 13. Okay so what you'll need to do is you just I'm going to just click add a page. So the first thing that we want to do, obviously, is take a some sort of frame, right? Because when you cut these up or you show these to your class, you want you need to differentiate one um, music flashcard from the other. So to do that, click elements and then you can click in um, frame would be a good option or you can click um, let's see rectangle frame is another one so any of these options that you like that work for you um, just select one of them so I do have the educator account so my options may look a little different from yours but anything that doesn't have a little educator hat or the pro canva account you can use so I'm gonna click on this rectangle or let's see here let's see which one this is let's do um, rectangle outline that might be a fun one as well 
So now I've found a frame that I like. Now, again, you don't have to use the same colors that I'm using. I'm using sort of a rounded edge, but again, if you want to use a square edge, make this your own. Use what works for you. If you have a different studio color, you can change the color of the um, rectangle. Do whatever works for you. But here's the thing. Uh, you will make, need to make sure that you save enough space for two of the rectangle frames. So you need to make sure that obviously you stay within the um, borders here. So make sure that in file you have your show ruler and guide, show margins and show print bleed selected. And then you're going to click on the frame that you have and click command D and make a second frame. So you can have keep these the same color. You can make them a different color. Uh, sometimes it's nice to have them a different color so you can assign uh, group uh, A to work on rhythm, um, the green rhythm, or in group B to work on the blue rhythm. So that's just a different way to help you if you're teaching group piano lessons especially. So now I have my two frames in place and let me zoom out just a little bit to make sure that they're even, and which they are. And don't forget to leave yourself a little bit of room if you want to fold the paper over or if you want to cut between the green flash card and the blue flash card. So the next thing we're gonna do is all I've done is I've just taken measures 10 through 13 and I've just divided them up. So I'm gonna copy here what I have. So Command C, I'm gonna put that right into my first music flash card and then I'm going to copy measures 12 and 13. Again, they don't actually have to be the same size as long as it fits nicely and snug within your um, music flashcard. Now remember, you might want to hand these out uh, to individual students. If you cut them out, you might want to place them at your front of your studio door or your classroom so when students walk in, they have a rhythm. They're already clapping that rhythm before they start to study the piece. Um, the options are absolutely endless. So that's really simple how you create um, the music flashcards fast. Now, my students love it when I add funny things. So although yes, it's cute, and I'll show you how to add some of these little faces here. Uh, all you do is you go into elements, and I think I typed fruit with faces. That was it, fruit with faces. And make sure you click on graphics. And to make life easier, you can click on static because the animated won't show anyway when you print it out, but I just click um, static. And you have all these different choices. Now bear in mind, not all of these are free with the free Canva account. They are available in the Pro and the Educator account, and it is so well worth it. So I wanna to explain to you quickly, all I've done is I've just basically picked a fruit and I've placed it over the notes that I want my students to be able to either fill in notes that they want to play there or say the name of the note. Um, so I've just added an orange. So to add a, a fruit with face, <laughs> um, let's, add, let's add this little pear. So I'm just gonna click on the image and it will show up in my design. And I'm gonna cover this pear over that note. And then I'm gonna ask my students, okay, so who wants to be the pair or who wants to fill in the rhythm for the pair? And that's simply how you just make these flashcards really fun. Now bear in mind, this might not be as exciting for older students, but it is a still fun way to engage and up-level your music flashcards. So now I wanna take you to the next example. And all I've done here is remember at the top where we had the full uh, measure, so measures 10, 11, 12, 13. So this might be for a slightly older uh, piano student or if you're teaching group piano. So here I have uh, all four measures ready. And I do want to show you one trick because sometimes this does happen when you're editing. You can see here if I zoom in really tight that I've actually had to add a, an ending bar line, which is totally fine. I mean, obviously you want it to make sense and you could even add a treble clef. Um, if you wanted to, you could just type in treble clef and when that comes up, you can add that as well if you want to, to make more sense to your older students. Um, but you know, it, it totally depends on 
what works for you and what your students expect uh, from your activity. So we can leave that there or take it away. Either way is fine. Now I do want to show you a few different ways that you can up level these flashcards. So again, now we're looking at the slightly older students. So there's a couple things I want you to notice here. So let me scroll down to this one. So again, I've still left the colors. Uh, so my purple group will be clapping this rhythm and my red group will be clapping this rhythm. So as you can see, I have up leveled it by asking, asking my older students to write the letter names on the line beneath each note. Okay, so this means that after they've had a chance to clap it, then they're going to go up here and write the letter names. So C, C, E, G, 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 F, etc. And then I've added a little logo. I haven't done the uh, little fruit faces because, you know, for your older students, um, that might not go over so well. But if you notice, this little image, I'll scroll back up to the top, is from the actual score. So, you know, even though they're older, they still like a little bit of fun, but the more you can thread things together for them, the more it makes sense. So let's go back down to this example for my older students without the fruit. <laughs> so that now they have a, a music flashcard, but it's up leveled. And I want to show you the final thing that can really help you. So um, if you are creating a flashcard, we're going back now. This is sort of the middle ground where your students aren't quite old enough to go completely in terms of writing the letter names, but they're also quite not ready to go for the whole fruit idea. But I did add a few little fruit elements, but really what this music flashcard is about is when you print this out, now you'll notice here that, let me just undo this for you. So I'm going to turn this around, back around. And so all I've done is I've just created a copy of measures 10, 11, and 12. So command C, and I've copied it up to the next flashcard. Now you have to bear in mind or think ahead that when you turn this paper over, for example, so the first side you're going to show your students is going to be this side A with the fruit, and they have to fill in or write in or say or whatever you want your students to do where the fruit lives. But when you turn the card over, you need to make sure that this uh, these measures are upside down and the opposite way. So all you need to do is when you click on um, a symbol or an image, there's a little round circle here and you're going to see, you'll, you'll watch, let's see, let's go this way. I'm simply going to turn it around upside down. 180 and that way when you fold this over you'll actually have the answers in front of you but your students won't be able to see it so imagine you're holding your flash card up so that is a really easy way and again you can make these however you like you could even do uh, for example one note per flash card you could do um, you could write letter names I mean the possibilities are endless but this is just such a fun and super and easy fast way for you to create music flashcards for your piano students ready to transition to teaching group piano lessons online for more info click here or copy and paste this link into your browser to download your free guide thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next lesson for more music videos, subscribe to Move Over at Mozart.